Okay, welcome back everybody. We're back to the Magical Tree Hazard. So, like I said, we we have Farouk. We, we can find Farouk. We know that he can help us jump into the water successfully. Remember, we can't actually swim. And that'll help us get to the moving lake, but we really don't have a reason to go to the moving lake, so let's keep talking to people. Yogo said that a hero, who was the descendant of Isfa, would save the town. Okay, and there's someone named Dogos in all this, okay? Talk to this guy. Oh, you are the hero. Okay, um... Yeah, I am the hero. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Okay, um... <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Let's keep talking here. Uh, you are going to defeat Sabaron? Yep, I'm going to defeat Sabaron. Yep. There's an old lady named Dogos who foretells everything. Oh, so she's a fortune teller. Okay. Okay, now these... If you see a hole like this in a town that doesn't have an S or an H indicating a shop or a hotel, that means that there is some kind of NPC in here that you, you should talk to. Let's go in and talk to her. I'm the fortune teller, Dogos. Sabaron is waiting for you with fearsome demons at the bottom... Pal at <clears throat> Wait, one more time. Sabaron is waiting for you with fearsome demons at the palace in the bottom of the lake. Find the lamp spirit Farouk and jump into the lake from the north cave. Prepare yourself. It will be tough. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dogos. All right. Now we know why we need Farouk. Okay. Sabaron is in a palace at the bottom of the moving lake with his demons. Uh, specifically one demon named Yoga, who is the main enemy of this game. It might be a spoiler. Main enemy of the first chapter, which might be a spoiler, but whatever. So we need Farouk, who lives 50 years in the past. We need to go through the time door that's located on a pier to get Farouk 50 years in the past so we can jump into the moving lake successfully without dying to go fight this demon and find Sabaron. There we go. Whew. <laughs> but, you know, wait, wait, I gotta pause it again. Y you have to give this game a lot of credit because I... One thing that happened with a lot of early video games is that there really wasn't a lot of exposition. Um, Legend of Zelda, for example, there really wasn't a lot of exposition, but that was actually because the game was meant to have a lot of cryptic messages. But it never really said, you need to do this, you need to do that. Like there were, It was pretty much up to you to make the decisions about what, would ha what happened. What would happen. I always liked this game because you had to... It, there is enough information and exposition in the game for you to figure out what you actually need to do. And I always thought that was kind of cool. Because it it didn't leave me hanging. It's like, okay, I know what I have to do. It's not a mystery. <laughs> right? Let's keep going here. And hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Las Vegas. It is a casino. Let's talk to some people here and see what's going on. Hey, I hit it. Why don't you try it? We, we might just do that. <laughs> I'm safe enough because the hero is protecting us. You know, these people just want to put more responsibility on me than I think I can handle. <laughs> a lake? It's to the north of this town. Okay, so we know the lake is to the north of this town. But let's go and visit the casino. Okay, uh, a couple things about the casino before I begin. Uh, first off, the only characters who can use a cl I beg pardon. The only classes that can use a casino are the fighter and the magician. I cannot use the casino if I am a saint. Saints are not permitted to gamble, I guess, so I can't use them. Uh, well, that's really the only point. Also, because we're in the Alark Solar Eclipse, the casino will actually be very favorable to us, so let's go inside. There, There's some seedy people who run it, I guess. Welcome to the casino. We have a big bargain today. Enjoy yourself. That is 90 rupees. Would you like to play this game? It, here's the problem. You see, I can't really use... I cannot choose the size of my bet. They're going to set what the bet is, and I have to pick it. And right now, I only have 72 coins, as you can see. So I can't actually use the casino, so I'm just going to have to say no. Okay, please come back again. I'll, I'll show the casino in another video. And actually, the Art Solar Eclipse has already ended. <laughs> okay. Um, I can tell because where it says Class Fighter on my subscreen, it would say Alert Solar Eclipse. You may have seen that flashing a couple times during the video. It, since it's already gone, that means the Eclipse has already ended. So now we have all the information we need. I'm just going to head for the time door. We already know what we have to do. Listen to the people of the town, okay? So if I head to the right, I will head to the lake. If I head south, to the south is the, oh boy. Got some monsters, let me just clean house here. 
You also notice this enemy music, it only actually plays when the bandits are there. I guess the bugs aren't really considered a fierce enemy. Okay, um, I just saw a flash on my screen, and I think because of me trying to record a video and do this commentary at the same time, I think it's possible that the Alarc Solar Eclipse was actually still happening. I just didn't see it. I'm sorry. But you get the idea. If it's light and bright out like it was at the start of the game, then you know there is no Eclipse right now. And I'm getting shot at by these sharks, so I'm just going to head south. Fire Wizard 23, use the magic of Oprin. All right, now let's do it. Oprin, look, I found a secret entrance. Now, this is uh, basically Corona's function in the game. She has the ability to use these time doors to activate them. Fire Wizard 23, this is a time door. Let's go back 50 years to find Farouk and Maroon through this door. Yes! And we're going to do this whole spinny thing. We're going to go through that door. Don't worry, we can't open the door the other way. It's okay. <laughs> we're not locked there forever. And here we are. Now, you'll notice the environment is very different. I mean, our lake, the lake is purple, and it's, which I think is more because it's supposed to be nighttime. But uh, let's do some exploring. Oh, bugs. <laughs> Walk around. Ooh, more some Rima. Now, people might think I'm kind of chickening out here, but it's only because I just want to save space in the video. I'm just going to run. You can... It is actually possible... I'm just going to pause for a sec. Pause this for a sec. It is actually possible to run from just about any RPG encounter in this game. You actually have the opportunity to run three times before any battle actually begins, which is actually pretty cool. And you can usually get away from most combats. I'm only going to fight enemies if... Either A, I haven't seen them before, so I just want to give you the glory of actually seeing how they fight, or if I'm showing what a character's abilities are. Right? So let's just keep going here. So again, it's very, very dark in this place. It's nighttime. We are 50 years in the past. Oh, more sharks. Fire was 23. Use the magic of Oprin. Now, you may notice the screen looks very familiar to when she said it previously in another video. That is because... You guessed it, this screen is where we plant the rupee seed. I'm going to go in and just see what she says, but I actually have to have a rupee seed to plant it. This is the magic field. A rupee tree will grow if you plant a rupee seed on the day of the Alark Soul Eclipse. Would you like to do it? Well, I'm going to have to say no because I don't actually have a rupee seed to plant. Please come back again with a rupee seed. Okay, if we remember. Um, it is just a side thing in the game. It's not actually a necessity in the game at all to actually ever do that. So, you know, don't sweat it if you don't. <laughs> Listen to the people of the town. Oh, so we got another town, okay. Now, if you remembered where Rodoria was in the future, this, this is Rodoria. This is Rodoria 50 years in the past. I'm sure a character will indicate that. So here we are in the town. Let's talk to some people. Welcome to Rodoria. Welcome to Rodoria. Okay, uh, here's another thing about some of these characters. When you see these two guys specifically behind this counter, they will always say the exact same things. It, it's kind of a kind of a pun slash running gag in the game. Eh, it's just something cute, I guess. <laughs> Let's talk to her. There is a university in this town. Do you study? Did you study there? Uh, university. I don't know. I only got seventy eight coins. I'm not sure if that's enough for tuition. Let's keep going here. Let's see. If you eat the rupee seed, you will become invisible. Oh, that's also another power of the rupee seed. If you eat it, you'll become invisible. Let's talk to this guy. Did you bury the rupee seed? Hmm. Obviously, he's just trying to remind us that we can bury the rupee seed and get stuff. Okay, now in there is a university, but I'm actually running out of time for this video. So I think we're going to go to school in the next video. So until next time, I'll see you later.